Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Daily Scripture Reflection. Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your word, which is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. May your word draw us closer to you. Holy Father, send your Holy Spirit afresh on us to renew our mind and our heart. Mary, our mother, lead us to Jesus, your loving Son. Amen. Today's reflection is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a certain village, where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to him to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, so she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus visited Martha and Mary, both of them responded very differently to his visit. Martha welcomed him and sprung into action to be a good host. She got engaged in work because she sincerely desired to be the best and give the best to Jesus. She got distracted and worried about many things. Soon she began to feel the pressure of work. And so she went to Jesus and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Brothers and sisters, it is our duty to take charge of guests when they come to our house, to attend to them and to meet with their needs. Then what went amiss with Martha? Probably she did not expect Jesus. She was unprepared and unaware of his visit. But whatever it be, when Jesus entered into her home, she should have taken charge of making alterations in the work she had planned, rescheduled, deleted, shortlisted some, so that she would have time to sit with Jesus like a sister. And there would be no need for her to go and complain to Jesus about her sister. Now, how did Mary respond to Jesus' visit? Verse 39, which is our verse for reflection, states, Mary sat at the feet of Jesus and listened to what he was saying. We can develop a very fine imagery of this scene. Jesus seated in the house of Martha and Mary, Mary at the feet of Jesus, with a head inclined upwards, gazing into the face of Jesus, looking into his eyes, 
and listening to him with rapt attention. Well, that was what Mary chose to do, to sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to him. In our busy and hectic schedules of life, we have choices to make. Are we going to continue to be busy bodies? Or are we going to choose to sit at the feet of Jesus and imitate Mary? If we choose to make Jesus the first person and the only person in our life and give him the first place in our life, here are some guidelines. Make Jesus your priority and everything else in life of secondary importance. Decide upon a quiet time, a quality time to be spent with Jesus on a day-to-day -day basis. Focus on God alone. Listen to Him and meditate on His word. Avoid multitasking physically or mentally when in prayer. Be detached from all works and even electronic gadgets, especially your mobile. Let Mary's discipleship be the role model for our discipleship. And as we choose to sit at the feet of Jesus daily, let our hearts yearn to hear him say to us, you have chosen the better part and it will not be taken away from you. Amen. Let's conclude with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today which calls us to imitate Mary. It challenges us to be with you every day. Holy Spirit, as we make this commitment to be true disciples, strengthen our decision. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen.